This week, in conjunction with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, ESPN is turning sports wishes into reality for children who face life-threatening illness as part of our series, My Wish. Fighting for her life, an eight-year-old girl found inspiration in the story of a young surfing star. Their meeting sparks an instant connection and gives her the chance to try something that she has dreamed about for so long. Now a 21-year-old competitor in tournaments all over the world, pro surfer Bethany Hamilton has been inspiring people ever since she lost her left arm in a 2003 shark attack. And weeks later, got back on her board. As soon as I got up on my first wave, I knew that I'd be doing it for a long time. I'm just really glad that I can do something bigger than just live my life for myself. Eight-year-old Kendall Kernick of Rockville Center, New York, has been drawing strength from Bethany's remarkable story. I thought she was really courageous and strong because she used to be the number one surfer in Hawaii, and she still is, even with one arm. She looks up to the fact that she had this horrible thing happen to her, but she persevered, and she didn't look at it negatively. She related it to her own life. A wide-eyed middle child who shined on stage as a dancer, Kendall was just six when she was diagnosed with leukemia back in January of 2010. What's it feel like when somebody tells you that you have leukemia? I think you get pretty sad about it because, like, if you know what cancer is, you know what's going to happen. Chemotherapy would take a harsh toll on Kendall. Painkillers gave her terrifying hallucinations. Recurrent fevers threatened her life. For months, her parents put on their game faces to lend support. When you're not talking to Kendall, you would cry. But, uh huh? You gotta prepare yourself to go talk to her. Because we didn't want her to be afraid of this. Kendall still faces months of treatment, but has been improving of late. Since seeing Soul Surfer, a movie based on Bethany Hamilton's life, Kendall has been all about her favorite athlete. She'd be Googling and reading anything she could pull up online, and her favorite thing was, what time is it in Hawaii right now? What do you think Bethany's doing right now? For her wish, Kendall would like to meet Bethany and go surfing. On this day, Kendall and her 10-year-old sister Cameron spot a package at the front door. Inside are two Hawaiian lays and a DVD. Aloha Kendall, it's Bethany Hamilton here. I hear you have a special wish and I'm here to help it come true. I want to invite you and your family to come out to Hawaii and learn to surf with me. I look forward to meeting you. To get ready, she and Cameron dig out their dad's old surfboard, and Kendall practices her pop-ups in her front yard. I think I'm going to be an okay surfer. Like, I think I can surf, like, a tiny little wave, like, by myself. Days later, Kendall and her family are 5,000 miles away from home, on the Hawaiian island of Oahu, on Waikiki Beach. There, Kendall and Bethany meet. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Kendall! Here, these are for you. Thank you. Hi! Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for granting my wish. Yeah, I'm so excited to hang out. After posing for some photos, Bethany's got a surprise for Kendall. An appearance in a 4th of July parade. Later that evening, Kendall receives a Soul Surfer DVD, and the two watch a special screening of the movie together. The next day, they are on Bethany's home island of Kauai. This is where I grew up. This is Hanalei, and um, we're going to go surfing down here, and we're going to catch up with my coach, Russell. 
These are really cool. I know, it's so beautiful. Kendall and Cameron meet Russell Lewis, Bethany's longtime surfing coach. Bethany's recovering from an injury, so she offers encouragement as Russell gives Kendall her first surfing lesson. Just like she did back home, Kendall pops up on her board. Back home, Kendall used to be a little afraid of the ocean. You ready? But with Bethany cheering her on, she's in the water. Good job, you're doing really good. Here comes a wave, and the girl who lost so much of her childhood to illness is standing tall and feeling the pure exhilaration of surfing. Yeah. Kendall gets to ride a wave with Bethany, who gives Kendall top marks, one surfer to another. And you're ripping. You are one ripper. How was surfing, Kendall? How was it? It was good? Yeah. <laughs> a warm goodbye ends a magic couple of days, giving added confidence to Kendall, who found a way to impress the young woman she admires. I had so much fun with you guys today, and I hope you had fun surfing. Did you guys have fun surfing? We just had a lot of fun with you today. Did they have fun? Bethany even has a photograph of herself and Kendall as the screensaver on her cell phone. You can learn more about Kendall and her wish by logging on to ESPN.com and searching the words, My Wish.